Hi everyone, I am Pranav. In this lecture, I will talk about the transportation across the plasma membrane. The transportation that going to occur across the plasma membrane can be broadly classified under the two categories. One is the passive transportation and second is the active transportation. The passive transportation always occurs along the gradient and this gradient can be the electrochemical gradient or the concentration gradient. The process is energy independent, no external source of energy is required in this particular case. Whereas if the transportation is the active transportation, the process of the transportation occurs against the gradient and this gradient can be the concentration gradient or the electrochemical gradient and the process is energy dependent process. We can further classify the passive transportation under the two broad categories depending on the participation of transport protein. If the transport protein is not going to participate in the process, the transportation occurs simply through the lipid bilayer, the process is known as the simple diffusion. Whereas, if the transportation occurs through the transport protein, the process is termed as the facilitated diffusion. And again, the facilitated diffusion can be of two different types depending on the participation of the kind of the transport protein. It can be the carrier mediated or it can be the channel mediated. Accordingly, it can be the carrier mediated facilitated diffusion or it can be the channel mediated facilitated diffusion. The active transportation always occurs with the help of the transport protein and the transport protein that is going to participate in this particular process, it is the carrier one. This particular process can be further subclassified under the primary active transportation and the secondary active transportation. In the case of the primary active transportation, the source of energy is the either the ATP molecule or the light and this particular transportation is also considered as a direct transportation or in this case the kind of the carrier trans carrier protein is going to participate it can be the uniporter or it can be the co-transporter and co-transporter again can be the antiporter or the semporter whereas if the process is the active transportation secondary active transportation the, in the case of the secondary active transportation the energy source is the electrochemical gradient or in this particular process only the co-transporter is going to participate and that co-transporter can be the antiporter or the semporter. So this is a brief information about the transportation across the plasma membrane.